right, shalom, shalom, I'm give up praise up now. You have a shaman shaka and shah, but shaman kaku dash. Peace, bless all the blood ones, but the New Testament for the mission of sins. And today, man, I'll speak a little bit on um, the Iran and Israel situation, which uh, I know a lot of beloved should be aware of what's going on. Which, uh, yeah, over there, you had in, um, in uh, Israel, Iran had uh, launched 300 drones and attack on Israel, right? So they were shooting uh, bombs and missiles or whatever out of the drones. And as you can see, right, those little uh, uh, missiles that's coming out of the drones, they look like what? They look like falling stars, beloved. They look like falling stars. So I wanted to go into uh, scripture and revelations to show that uh, the star, like after it said uh, it would be a, 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 the sun would be black as sackcloth. And then right after that, it speaks about what stars falling from heaven, man. It says it right in Revelation 6. After the, uh, the sun is black as sackcloth, the hair, right in the next verse, it speaks about what uh, stars falling from heaven. Like a fig tree, right? Like figs falling off a fig tree, right? And that's uh, what you see the stars, man. All right? And then you read about what? Uh, people getting ready to go hide in bunkers, man. Because a lot of people is preparing for the, uh, this war, right? Which no man knows the day or hour of the fullness of it. But you can clearly see it's starting, man. All right? They're launching attacks on actual, you know, Israel, the homeland, man, and, you know, and the scriptures tell you that, uh, the Lord is going to, um, let these stars fall from heaven, and it ain't talking about meteors or, uh, another galaxy, I can add another star from another galaxy fell on the earth, no, that's not what these stars is talking about in Revelation 6 and 13, those stars are referring to, uh, uh, this, uh, basically, uh, the weapons of these nations, their swords, right? Flying swords, like it says in uh, Ezra. All right, because Ezra make it clear that those stars are these nations' weapons, man. That's why it speaks about them burning each other with fire, man, in Revelations. All right, it's obviously talking about their weapons, man. All right, so, uh, yeah, man. That's what it says in Revelation 6 and 13. It speaks about uh, the stars falling from heaven. And these stars ain't talking about fallen angels, beloveds. It ain't talking about an angel falling from heaven in Revelation 6 and 13, man. Or it ain't talking about an actual damn meteor falling. Which there are verses that speak about, you know, actual uh, he uh, heavenly objects falling to the earth. Right? But this in context is talking about uh, the nation's weapons from going to war with each other, man. All right. So with that all praise up now, yeah, my shit now, my Revelation chapter six, verse thirteen, and it says, "And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a uh, untimely fig when she is shaking." Uh, by mighty wind, roughly paraphrasing, man. So, Revelation 6 and 13 speaks about um, the stars of heaven, man. All right, and they're falling like figs. It's talking about what these nations, their weapons and their armies, man. All right, and you could see the, uh, the stars, definitely their weapons, man. All right. So, uh, yeah, that precept right along with uh, the book of Ezra is about the stars, man. These stars are talking about their weapons. It's not talking about, you know, the actual celestial stars because obviously the constellation is, is still up there, right? This is talking about war, right? Flying swords, stars, a horrible star. Like it reads in Ezra. Let's get it. Let's get the apocrypha to show that the stars is dealing with the nation's weapons, man. It's not talking about uh, Jupiter falling off the sky and bashing you on your damn head. Man. It's 
come out the nation's weapons. That's why even when you look at the picture of these uh, missiles coming out of these drones, they look like what? Falling stars, man. All right, so let's get that in address. All right, so yeah, man, Revelations, I mean, not Revelations, but uh, Second Ezra's chapter 15, man, that precepts right with Revelations chapter 6, man, dealing with those stars falling from heaven, all right? It precepts with uh, the Apocrypha, and it also precepts with Isaiah 34, but I'm just dealing with the portion of it, of the stars, right? Because when you read in Second Ezra 15, you read about it says the enemy besieging them from the land of Syria, which we just seen that happen in the news. With uh, they just supposedly blew up one of Iran's embassies in in, uh, in Syria recently. This just happened. They just blew up one of their <laughs> embassies in Syria, and this is why they retaliated against Israel with the drone strike over 300 drones, and uh, was shooting missiles out those drones. Right, obviously these ain't nuclear missiles, right? But they were shooting missiles out of uh those drones which is what their star those stars man and then when you read in Ezra, it said they show uh smite down a multitude of stars man that's talking about those damn dr uh drones bro and, and they having those uh the defense system because they was even showing uh them actually uh shooting down a lot of those uh missiles from the drones man all right so i mean that's clear and, and um Ezra is, is talking about uh, them shooting down different uh, missiles, man. All right, it says what they show. Uh, they show um, cast down a multitude of stars. That's clearly these damn drones, man. They were shooting them down, those stars, and then it speaks about what a horrible star to look upon. All right, and uh, it speaks about the, the fiery swords and these stars. All right, because obviously when the beloved seen his vision, you know, those drones that shoot out missiles, they look like damn stars, man. All right, so yeah, the book of Revelation does speak about war too, man. All right, everything is in a, a spiritual, I should say. Some stuff is actually carnal and physical, man. Like this war, it's spiritual, but it's also physical too, man. All right, they're going they're physically uh going against each other. The Lord Yahweh Shah said it himself, uh, wars, man, the beginning of wars and all that, man, a bit of getting in trouble. All right, the scriptures even tell you just because they got all these dis discounts for all these victuals and stuff, people are gonna be thinking everything is all sweet, man. Nah, man, we need to be worried about getting right with the Lord and uh. And glorifying his his new covenant, man. All right. Now this isn't to put fear and make anybody scared or nothing like that, but this is to what tell you get your get your act together with the Lord, man. We don't have forever to play around in this system, man. This system got to fall, man. All right. In order for what the new co the new covenant to be fully established. See, yeah, this is why the camps can't believe the new covenant. Because what? They still what, have to be delivered out of uh, the four corners of the earth, man. All right? But what? They're not knowing that the, what, the grace and the knowledge and the sacrifice has already started, man. So, yeah. Uh, you know, we just have to, what, endure until the end and uh, pray without ceasing, man. All right? You know, Second Ezra 15 is clearly talking about, uh, you know, the, those those Muslim nations in Iran going to war. All right, so, you know, Isaiah makes it clear, man, in Isaiah 34, that precepts right along with Revelation 6 and 13, man. The stars falling from heaven as a fig tree and our untimely figs uh, is cast away of a mighty wind. Same thing as Isaiah 34, man. Where he speaks about um, uh, their host falling like a uh, untimely figs on a fig tree, man. All right. The Lord said his sword is gonna be bathed in heaven, man. All right, and that's what you see him fly fiery swords in the heaven. Okay. 
said the heavens departed as a scroll right and uh that's the same thing it says in revelations all right so that precept is right with the book of isaiah chapter 34 which the most high speaking in the book of revelations chapter 6 is, the, is going into the destruction of idumia man all right that's what revelation 6 and uh 13 is referring to man destruction of the idumia and the lord said he's going to get idumia man He's going to get him, man. All right, and uh, you know he's going. He's going to use the nations to to uh, to do it, man. So with that, I'll praise up now. Yeah, by some much I go, shot some. I'm a 